One of my idols of the 60s was the most elegant and sophisticated heroine you'd ever seen. She cruised in a pink Rolls Royce and dispatched international villains without so much as chipping a nail. I'd always dreamt of meeting her, but when the chance came, Kay Stammers jumped the queue. Five, four, three, two, one. You find Thunderbirds fans in all sorts of places, and they come in all types and ages. Although the Super Marionette series was made in the 60s, like other sci-fi hits with cult followings, it's been repeated over and over, picking up legions of fans with each rerun. Like advertising account director Lucia Elliott, who enjoyed the show as a child, but became addicted in her 20s. I really do love the Thunderbirds. I think um, anyone who's watched them enough will, is enchanted by them. They've got so much to offer. It's multi-layered. Uh, it just can't be described as a simple uh, puppet show because it's incredibly sophisticated in terms of its production values. The radio has gone bad. Hitches, you got a fix? One person who would agree wholeheartedly is Sylvia Anderson, co-creator of the series and the voice of its most sophisticated character, Lady Penelope. Uh, the other heroines before had always walked, you know, three paces behind uh, the hero. So I wanted to devise a character, a female character, who was ahead of her time in the 60s, who had her own independence and her own life. And I also thought the Americans would like very much to have the title Lady in the Stately Home and the uh, chauffeur Rolls Royce. So she was a very easy character for me. I, I love creating her from the word go. Are you sure you're all right, Penelope? You knew those murderers would try to kill you. You sure took a chance. Well, that's what makes life interesting, Scott. Jerry and I used to write the first episode and create the whole thing. And then we had a team of writers. And they found it very difficult to write for this female heroine who was a sort of, um, she was the James Bond of her time, really. International Rescue, Lady Penelope speaking. Oh, Lady Penelope is just fabulous. She's the one who always brings a bit of class and some charm and uh, the feminine touch to each of the episodes. There's um, a lot of testosterone on Tracy Island, so it was always a welcome relief to see Lady Penelope turn up in an episode. Why, Penelope, are you all right? It's the total package, really. It's, uh, it's the script, uh, script development, characters, the plot. Everything is of the highest quality. And um, because the episodes are an hour long, it actually allowed for, for great character development. So you got to see the Thunderbirds in their sort of slice of life, lifestyle situation around by the pool wearing their groovy sunglasses or when Virgil was playing the piano and they were drinking Perno. I think the special effects, one's got to say, were super. Also the sets, uh, the music was fantastic. So I think we treated the whole thing in a very special way. And what about that trademark pink Rolls Royce? Of course, the Rolls Royce is the ultimate car for anyone to have. And I had the idea to say, well, OK, let's make it a very feminine Rolls Royce by making it pink. You know, her motto was she was cool, she was elegant, and there was lots of deadly danger. So I think that's, that's not bad, is it? It's not a bad epitaph to have. 